California law requires that you and your spouse or domestic partner give each other written information about what you own and what you owe, and about your income and expenses. To do this, there are a set of forms you need to fill out and exchange. This is called disclosure. The purpose of disclosure is to make sure that you and your spouse or domestic partner are aware of everything you each own and owe, separately and together, so that you can divide your property and debts equally. It also gives you the financial information you need to make decisions about child and spousal or partner support. Financial disclosures are required to get divorced or legally separated. The only exception to this rule is if there is a court order that relieves a party from having to complete the financial disclosures. If the court finds out that you left anything out or lied on your disclosure forms on purpose, the court can order that any property you did not list goes to your former spouse or domestic partner. You can also be ordered to pay his or her attorney fees and fines. If you and your spouse are likely to have disagreements about these issues, what you write on your financial disclosure documents can affect the outcome of your case. It is very important to be accurate and complete, and a lawyer can help you figure out how to fill out the forms so that they accurately reflect your position. If you want specific legal advice about how to fill out your disclosure documents, talk to a lawyer. Here are some helpful links. Even if you and your spouse agree on everything, you will still need to complete your financial disclosures. It does not matter that you don't have anything, you aren't fighting, or you just want this to be an easy divorce. You still must complete and serve these documents. As we mentioned before, an attorney can help you fill out these forms. The attorneys can be hired for specific parts of your divorce. This is called unbundling, or limited scope representation. If you want more information on this process, click on this link. If you will be completing the forms on your own, download this forms packet, which includes the forms you will need. The following slides will give you information on each of these forms. Fill out your forms, which are the Declaration of Disclosure, Form FL-140, the Income and Expense Declaration, Form FL-150, and two of the Property Declaration Forms, FL-160. One will be for separate property and one for community property. You will include the following attachments. With a Declaration of Disclosure, attach your tax returns for the last two years. With the Income and Expense Declaration, attach your pay stubs for the last two months. For the two property declaration forms, for separate and community property, you will need to attach copies of the following types of documents. Your current bank account statements, mortgage deed of trust or title to your house, car loan, lease statements or title to your car, credit card statements, and the latest retirement and pension plan statements. For a complete list of the documents that will need to be attached to the FL-160, please refer to page 4. The Declaration of Disclosure is a cover page to let the other party know what you are providing him or her. Be sure to attach copies of all tax returns filed in the last two years. The Income and Expense Declaration must be fully completed and provide current information on a party's monthly income and monthly expenses. Current means the form has been completed within the last three months, providing no facts have changed. You should attach two months of your most recent pay stubs to this form. This declaration should be updated at any time while the case is pending if the information changes significantly. Odyssey Guide and File provides a guided interview that will help you complete your income and expense declaration. You will need to fill out two different property declarations, one form for community property 
and the other for separate property. Itemize all assets and debts for both or either of you. Items that were acquired before the marriage or domestic partnership are considered separate property. Items acquired during the marriage or domestic partnership are considered community property, and items acquired after the date of separation are also considered separate property. On the separate property declaration form, include all assets and debts acquired by you or your spouse or domestic partner before the marriage or after the date of separation. You may be wondering about gifts or things you have inherited. Gifts received during the marriage, or anything you inherited during the marriage, are generally considered as separate property. On the community property declaration, include all assets and debts acquired by either or both of you during the marriage or domestic partnership. There are some exceptions to these rules. For example, some assets or debts may be partly separate and partly community. These types of assets and debts would go on both property declarations. So you may want to talk to an attorney if you are unsure of how to categorize a certain debt or asset. The court has the power to divide those assets and debts that are community property equally. The court also has the power to determine if certain assets and debts that you or your spouse listed on your initial paperwork are separate property. These assets and debts are not divided like your community property. They are confirmed to you or your spouse or domestic partner. Copies of the following documents must be attached to these property declaration forms. This list is also found on page 4 of your property declaration form FL160. If you are having your spouse served with your financial disclosures by mail, you may want to black out sensitive personal information such as social security numbers. Now that you have completed your forms, you can have them professionally reviewed before filing. The Orange County Superior Court Self-Help Center offers many free services including document review. Although they cannot provide legal advice, they can make sure you filled out your forms properly before you move ahead with your case. Please visit the Orange County Self-Help website for location and hours of operation. You can also hire your own lawyer to review your papers or get legal advice, either with your entire divorce case or just the parts of it that you may need more help with. This is called limited scope representation or unbundling. Here are some links that may prove helpful. Now that your forms have been professionally reviewed, you will need to have someone else serve your spouse or domestic partner with your preliminary declaration disclosure. Have a person 18 years or older who is not a party in the case hand deliver or mail a copy of all your forms with pay stubs and tax returns attached to your spouse or domestic partner. Fill out the declaration regarding service of declaration of disclosure and income and expense declaration, which is form FL-141. The FL-141 and your FL-150 with two months of pay stubs will need to be filed with the court, so make a copy of these forms and take them to the clerk's office at the Lamro Justice Center. You have now completed Step 3 of the Dissolution Response Case Tracker. Continue to Step 4 by clicking here.